Comfort is the enemy of execution. Comfort is the enemy of a great life. Because as long as you're comfortable, you're not going to grow. If you're not growing, you're dying. If you're not growing, you're not going to feel happy. So we need to grow and evolve, and that's really what action allows you to do. By taking action, it allows you to make progress in your life rather than just sitting around all day and being lazy. Most often, how do you feel about yourself when you're sitting around all day? When you're not doing the things you know you should do. Most often, your self-esteem, does it go up or does it go down? Most often goes down because you feel guilty. You feel like you're not making the progress that you want to make. You're not doing the things for your body, your health, your relationships, your career, your finances that are really meaningful for you. And so most often there's a disconnect. There's an inner conflict that people have that they have the desires and goals, but they're not doing it. The reason why you're lazy is that you associate in your mind doing the things that you know you should do as painful, as uncomfortable, as challenging, as hard. And you've made all that up in your head and you're associating pleasure to the things you're doing to distract yourself. The way that you got to change this, and we're going to do this right now, is you have to link and associate in your mind to the consequences, the consequences, the pain of not doing what you know you should do. You have to link pain to being lazy, pain to procrastinating, pain to staying stuck and staying where you are. So much pain that you hit a threshold. As long as you associate or link pain to doing it, then the chances are that you're not going to do it. And that pain can be in the form of discomfort. You know it's going to be a lot of effort, a lot of work, a lot of energy. Maybe it's going to be stressful. Maybe it's going to be challenging. You're dreading the process of doing it, which is you associating pain to it. And the problem is if you have that item here that you want to do, but your pain that you're making in your mind, it's all your perception, by the way. It's all the meaning that you're giving to that task or that activity. You're making it to be so much bigger than what it really is. But as long as you have that pain attached to it, you're not going to do it. That's why people don't exercise. They link pain to exercise. That's why they don't you know, work on their business or do their accounting or whatever it might be for you, cleaning the house. They link pain to that. When was the last time that you really just spent a few hours and you maybe journaled and went out in nature and you just really asked yourself, what do I want for my life? What is the vision that I have for my life? If I could have my life any way that I want it to be, what would that be? You know, you really got to be like a kid because if you ask a kid what they want to be when they grow up or what they want for their life, they have no problem telling you what that is. You know, they're going to tell you that they want to be an astronaut, that they want to be a firefighter, that they want to be an engineer or a scientist or the president or whatever that is. They don't have those limitations that most often we get as we get older in life, as you get older as an adult and you experience some pain and you have some disappointments that, you know, the unfortunate thing is a lot of people, they let that pain dictate their future, that because they experience pain, they give up on their goals and their vision. They think, why even bother? Why even try? That when I did dream, when I did go for it, it didn't work out the way that I wanted to. And so they allow the past to determine their future. Because oftentimes we procrastinate because we make it so much bigger than what it really is. We, we make it just so big in our head. You know, oh my God, I got to do my bookkeeping and there's just so much to do. Oh man, it's going to take so long. It's going to take the whole day. And we always exaggerate it. We always make things much bigger than really what they are. Oftentimes when you just do it, it's like fear, right? You're afraid to do something, but when you do it, you realize, oh my God, it wasn't as scary as I thought. And you got to understand that's, that's just your brain playing tricks on you. <laughs> it's just messing with you. See, the more willingness you have to be a little bit disturbed or satiated or experience the pain, the more likely you are to link the pain to being lazy. So you got to be honest with yourself with this. Of what is it costing you right now? Is it costing you your self-esteem, your confidence, Right? Because if you know you're not taking action in your life, you're not going to feel good about yourself. You know, If you do have a goal or a dream, you're going to think, why even bother? Why go for it? Because in my past, I've never made anything happen before. So you're not going to have the confidence and certainty. So it's hurting your self-esteem right now. You're not going to feel good about yourself. That's, what, that's one thing that's costing you. But what else? Okay, Maybe right now, because of this habit of laziness, right now, today, you could have more money, more success, more freedom more happiness, more energy, a better body, a better relationship. Right now, if you had solved this a year ago, three years, five, ten years ago. So look at all that you've missed out on your life by living the way you've been living right now, this habit of laziness. Are you willing to continue living your life this way for the next five, ten years, missing out on more, missing out on more happiness and joy and money and all the things that you want? To have years go by and your life remains the same, you're not making progress, whereas everyone else around you they're achieving, they're doing, they're move, you know, moving ahead in their life and making progress and you're still stuck. 
You see, the truth can set you free. You might have heard that before. If you can get to the truth, you can change anything in your life. But the challenge is that most people, they never get there. Most people, they tell themselves stories about why it's okay that they don't do it. They sugarcoat it. They say, oh, you know, I can do it tomorrow. Tomorrow never comes, by the way, if you notice that. I'm gonna do it tomorrow, or I'm still young, or I, you know, I don't have the money or the time. I can do it later. They put it off, and sure enough, what happens is that things build up to a point where eventually you inevitably, you experience the pain and the threshold that things get so painful, you hit rock bottom that you finally get to doing it. You get to take an action. So don't wait for that to happen. I believe that right now, you gotta to associate to the consequences in your life of what it's costing you right now in your life by not taking action. What I find to be one of the most powerful things in my life has been my morning ritual. And you guys probably know this, I've shared this a lot. But by having a ritual, first thing in the morning, what you're doing is you're making sure that you are operating at your absolute best for that day. You're putting yourself first, you're giving yourself energy. Often, first part of the morning, you have the most willpower as well, so it's a lot easier to do things in the morning versus later on in that day when you're more tired and exhausted. But you're preparing yourself to be at your best. When you're at your best, you're gonna be unstoppable, man. There's gonna be things that come up throughout the day. You're gonna be able to do it so much easier because of the state that you're in, because of just how you feel. And oftentimes what we do is based on the emotional states that we're in. You know, our states, our thoughts determine our feelings, our feelings determine our actions. So if you sit off the beginning of the day to make sure that you've got the right thoughts, you've got the right feelings, the right state of mind, and you're, you're making sure you're healthy, you're strong, you're vibrant, you're alive, I find, man, like I'm just on fire for the rest of the day. I have no problem taking on those big tasks, those big leverage activities in my life because of that ritual that I did to make sure that I'm, I'm at my best.